Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this video, we're going to be checking out how we can adjust the image sizes inside WooCommerce for WordPress. Now there are many reasons why you'd want to do this and you don't need any special software and you're going to use one free plugin just to make sure that everything looks the way you want it to. So let's sit back, open up WooCommerce and take a look at how we can do all of those things right now. So whenever you install WooCommerce into your WordPress, you're going to find that there's some preset figures and everything laid out for the way that images are going to display. And they're not always the way you want them to display. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you step by step through the entire process of making those changes and making sure that everything displays the way you want it to. That includes anything you may have previously uploaded, which when you change those figures, that doesn't happen. So let's take a look at how we do that. So I've got my installation of WooCommerce and we're in the back end of WordPress at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the WooCommerce section and we're going to come into Settings. So from Settings you can see we've got all the different tabs we're normally available. We're going to jump over to the Products tab and once we're inside there we're going to hit Display. And that's going to take us through and allow us to set up some of the parameters for setting up how you want to display the products in your shop. If we scroll down to the bottom of the section, you can see we've got catalog images, single product images, and product thumbnails. We've also got a series of dimensions set in there. And like I say, these are the default settings. And what they relate to is your catalog images are what you see on the page where you list all the products. When you click and go through to a particular product, you've then got this section, which is the actual single product image. And your product thumbnails are what sits underneath. So these small versions of them. So you can see at the moment, things don't look the way that I want them to. They look a little bit sort of hit and miss. And if we jump back to the shop's homepage, you can see we've got the aspect ratio set to sort of uh, your, your typical four by three. So let's make some changes to the product image dimensions. What we can do is we can easily come into this and we can set any kind of dimensions that we want to work with. So if we want to work with a more portrait kind of image, then we can change the values for that. If we want to work with a specific size and let the image be cropped, we can choose to hard crop things. So for example, if we're working with an image that's landscape or portrait, but we want to force it to be square, then we can do that by clicking on the hard crop. So let's start off by taking a look at that. So if we take a look at the images at the moment, you can see they're in a landscape kind of view. Let's just jump back to this and let's say we want to hard crop all of those. Hit save changes and now we can jump back to the product listing and we can refresh that and you can see nothing happens. Reason for this is we need to go in and tell WordPress to regenerate the images because all the ones it has in its catalogue at the moment, in its media library, are of the same aspect ratio as the original, which is what we see in front of us. So to do that, we need to have a plugin. And this is a completely free plugin, so we just jump back to the admin section. We're going to go over now to plugins, and I'm just going to open up a new tab on there. What we're going to do is you can see I've got force regenerate thumbnails. Now this is like I say completely free. I put a link in the description below, but all you need to do is click on add new. Once you've done that, come up to the search in the corner, type in force regenerate thumbnails. That'll go through and find all the ones that match that key phrase. And you can see there's the first one and it says it's currently active. So I've already installed that on my system. So we've got that on there. So to use that, all I need to do is come down onto tools, force regenerate thumbnails. Once I've done that, that'll take us over to the page that has the options on it. So you can see we've got two options. We've got regenerate all the thumbnails, or it tells us if we want to regenerate just specific images, we can go into the media page and we can do it directly from there. So this is the kind of thing that if you've got a couple of images, regenerate all thumbnails is fine. But if you're dealing with tens of thousands or hundreds or, you know, you know, loads of images, then it's probably better to go through to the media page and just update and regenerate the thumbnails for the images that you want to use in your shop. So let's say regenerate all thumbnails. Now I've only got about 25 images on the system at the moment, so it's not going to take too long. So once I click that, it'll give us a process meter at the top, tell us which image has been done, and you can see it's deleting certain sizes and then regenerating other sizes. Now you can see there's quite a range of different sizes being regenerated, and this is down partly to WooCommerce and WordPress, and partly down to the theme that you have installed. So when you do this for yourselves, you may find you have less figures in there, you may have more in there. So don't worry about it. So I'm going to let this run through now, I'll pause the video and I'll come back once it's finished. So there we go, we've now gone through and regenerated all of the thumbnails in our installation of WordPress. So let's just jump over now back to the front end of the site and let's refresh the page and take a look at what's happened. Okay, so we're back on the shop page and you can see all the images are exactly as they were when we left them. So let's refresh the page. 
and now we see that the images have been forced refreshed, they're now square and they've been hard cropped. So in other words, it means that the image has been recreated, there's not using any kind of styling or anything to make them look like they're square, they have actually been cropped down to being square. Because we set them all to be hard cropped, if we now go and take a look at the actual product itself and click to go in there, you'll see now that all of the images have been hard cropped to be square. And you can tell they're hard cropped because if you look at them, it's cut off the edges of the image which overlap outside the sort of area. So it's cropped those down. So if we click, you'll still have the full size image on there and you can click through to all the different ones. But when you see the thumbnails, the smaller versions of them, you'll see that they're all set out to be square. So that's one way of using it. If we jump back into the settings, we can uncheck the hard crop and we can make a couple of other changes. So let's just say instead of 300 by 300, we want to do 450 by 300 and we'll do 900 by 600. I'll leave the 180 by 180. I'll leave the hard crop taken off as well now. So we'll just hit save changes again and we'll go back over to the force regenerate thumbnails, go back to load that back in and get to regenerate all those. We'll let it run through the process again like we did the first time and we're now going to find the images have been cropped into a different way. So that's now gone through and regenerate all the thumbnails. So let's just jump back to our page, go back to the shop section and as you can see, if we refresh that, We've got everything gone back now to be in a landscape mode. So we've gone through, we've taken off the hard crop, we've got everything set up that we want. So before we wrap this video up, let's just take one more attempt at this now and see what we can do if we combine the different methods. So for example, let's hard crop these and let's set them to be sort of uh, portrait mode. So we'll do 600 by 900 and like I say, we'll do 240. Okay. Hit save changes on that and let's just do the same again jump over regenerate the thumbnails Regenerate all of them wait for it to run through the process and we'll see exactly what's happened at the end of it So there we go that's finished regenerating the thumbnails and if we just jump back over to the product section You'll see what we've got now is we've got them set up to the dimensions we want We've told it to hard crop so it's cut the edges off of the image So we now have something that would work really well if you're dealing with a clothing store where you want portrait kind of style images so hopefully what you've seen with this video is that there's multiple different ways you can use those simple settings and as long as you regenerate the thumbnails to make sure that you force WordPress and WooCommerce to update the images being used, you can quickly and easily go through and change the look and the layout of all your products using WooCommerce. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. If you have any comments, questions or feedback, please pop those in the comment section below. And until next time, take care.